Hi everyone, as a third part of the tutorials on how to get started in R, we're going to look at how to uh, load your data into your R environment. So first of all, you have to set your working directory. Uh, this is the directory where also all your data files should be in. So in my case, it's on the F drive and it's a folder called RStudio. So we can have a look at it. Here is my data file in my R directory. You can open it. And this is what it looks like. I have only two columns, one column named group and one column named length. Um, R can read many different types of data uh, or many different structures of data, but I always use uh, text files. This is not necessary, but the advantage of using text files is that you can keep your original Excel file um, and then you can convert it into a text file in which you don't do any editing whatsoever so your raw data your raw data is protected now before you convert your excel file into a text file um, you have to check on a couple of things for instance there should not be empty cells or empty values in this case here's one you have to replace that with na meaning not available or not applicable that's the only one another thing um, when converting to text file is that in your header the column names should not have a space in between so we can simply replace the space and that's it and then you can convert it into a tab delimited text file that's it so if you now look in your r directory then you see that here we have created uh, a new data file in the form of a text file so then you think of a name for your data i'll call my data my data and then the command to call for your data is read table. Um, then you have to figure out what the name is of your actual text file within your directory. So in my case, you can see here is my data file, my data file, and it's text file. You have to type that as well. And then comma h is an abbreviation of uh, header equals true, which means our text file has a header so that's this as you can see there's group and length this is the first line this should be seen as a header and it should not be taken into account as actual data that's why you do that and then you run it and after you run it you're, you can see that your data has appeared on the right side um, saying there's a data set called my data with 105 observations of two variables you can click on it and then you can look at it here um, this is your data now that's basically all you need to do. Um, there's one more thing that's always useful to check. That's the structure of your data with this command. Now, why do you do that? Um, well, sometimes R doesn't really recognize the structure properly. So if we run this, we can look here in the console and we see that R says we have two variables, one called group, one called length. Now the variable length in centimeters is numeric that's true, that's correct, it's a numeric variable. But R also thinks that our group is an integer variable, and that's not the case, it's actually a factor, because I've written here one, two, or three, but in fact it is group one, group two, and group three. So that's something else, so we want to change this. This has to be a factor and not an integer value. So then you can quickly do that by typing the name of your data set, my data, a dollar sign, group, and then you say this group has to be converted into a factor. And if you do this, and then again, check on the structure of your data, you will see that now group has been converted into a factor with three levels, and the levels are one, two, and three. So that's group one, two, and three. So that's it. And then from here, you can do whatever you want. You can start doing statistical analysis with your data, um, or you can start making box plots for instance like this if I want to look at um, length versus group it will appear in the bottom right as you can see and that's all there is to it